very, very easy to get set questions wrong if you don't list the sets in the first place. So a universal set, that's the set of numbers that contains all the others, is numbers less than 13. But they must be positive. So we're talking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Less than 13 does not include 13. Now the even numbers, but they must be included within the, set, the universal set. So the only even numbers there are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. The multiples of 3, I'm going to go down here, so set B is the multiples of 3. Multiples of 3 in the universal set are 3, 6, 9, and 12. And the prime numbers between 1 and 12 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. 1 is not a prime number. OK, so first of all, we are asked, so this is set A, and this is set C. So we're asked for A intersection B. So that's these two sets together. And if we look at the numbers which are in these two sets, we can see that 6 is in both, and also 12 is in both. So A intersection B is 6 and 12. OK, we then want B union C. So that's looking at these two sets. The union of the two sets means include all of the numbers in both sets put together. So it's 2 and then 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, 11, and 12. All of those numbers, if the numbers appear twice, you don't need to write them twice. So, for example, I haven't written 3 twice. OK, last part says, is it true that 14 is an element of set A? This symbol means is an element of. And as an element of just means is it a member of. So is 14 a member of set A? Well, here we have set A, and set A only contains the numbers between 2 and 12. So is 14 an, an element of set A? The answer is no, it isn't. And the reason for that is um, 14 is not. You can either write not in set A, or you could write that it's not in the universal set, because the universal set only goes up to 12.